Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and all the music from that little demo piece at the top was done with new instruments and effects from the Complete 10 Ultimate Bundle from Native Instruments. Complete collects NI's most popular instruments and effects in one convenient, cost-effective package. In this video, we're doing a brief overview of what's new in version 10, so we're going to check out Rounds, Contour, Polyplex, Drum Lab, Action Strikes, Kinetic Metal, Rise and Hit, the Discovery Series Cuba, the Definitive Piano Collection, Session Horns Pro, and the Molecular and Supercharger GT effects. For a look at some of the older plugins included in the bundle, check out our videos for Complete 9 and Complete 8. The plugins are Mac and PC compatible, and we tested them out on a MacBook Pro running OS 10.9.5 and Logic Pro X. We don't have time to go through all the details in the plugins, but we're going to try to hit the highlights. Also remember that while all of these plugins are in the Ultimate Bundle, some of them are not included in the standard Complete 10 Bundle. Let's start with Rounds, an exciting four-voice polyphonic synth and sequencing plugin that runs in the reactor shell. Two sound engines are here, a two oscillator virtual analog and a three oscillator digital FM engine, and each can hold eight different sounds at once. The sound engines are terrific, delivering a wealth of different leads, basses, pads, and atmospheres. Let's listen to some of them. What takes rounds to the next level, though, is the voice programmer in the upper part of the screen, which contains eight blocks, each with four cells. By plugging in sounds from the analog and digital engines into the cells, and then triggering them in different ways, you can sequence some remarkable textural and melodic changes. By altering the voice mode parameters and the way it responds to notes, as well as the progress mode and note mode parameters, you can tailor the sequencing and layering of the cells to get some very detailed and complicated responses to MIDI notes data. This button in the center of each block activates the morphing feature, which is a great way to get smoother textural changes between cells. The macro controls let you make adjustments on several sounds at once, say for a filter sweep for example, and eight assignable macro control knobs are available. Another smart touch is that when you make a parameter change on one of the sounds in an engine, that parameter becomes available for the other seven sounds in this fader window for quick adjustments on multiple sounds. One more highlight in rounds is the remote octave function, which allows you to make real-time changes to the voice programmer using a keyboard controller, a great function for live performance, and a cool writing tool as well. The lead sounds we heard in that demo all came from Contour, NI's new flagship two oscillator, two filter phase modulation or FM synth. FM synthesis can get pretty complicated, but the interface on Contour gives even novices a lot of sound sculpting power with four user assignable macro knobs. In many of the presets, the drama macro is mapped to modulation, but of course macros can be easily reassigned. Movement on the macro knobs can be recorded, edited, and played back in the motion controller, which can sync with the song's master clock, and a variety of preset modulation waveforms are also available. Effects, including reverb, delay, and a nice cabinet simulator and gap filter are on board. We heard some leads, so let's listen to a few basses and soundscapes and some other patches.
Reactor also hosts the new Polyplex plugin designed in collaboration with Twisted Tools. It's basically a one-shot triggering program similar to battery, but where battery kits give you many cells, each playing one sample, Polyplex gives you only eight cells, but each can trigger up to four samples, giving it up to 32 voices at once. The factory kits are excellent. Let's listen to a few. Each sample layer is completely editable, so you can swap out samples, change the pitch, sample start time, volume, envelopes, EQ, etc. A major component in Polyplex are the randomization functions, which are really smartly implemented in a top-down manner and represented by the various dice icons on the interface. You can randomize the kit, cells, or parameters, and the amount of randomization increases as you click further to the right in the box. The ability to restrict the randomization means you can get really useful results. Say you like most of the kick drum, but you just want to randomize through different tonal one-shot samples on a single layer. No problem. Kit variations can be assigned to keys in the octave below the triggers for quick changes. Polyplex also sports a sophisticated modulation section, allowing you to modulate parameters on the layers you want using LFOs, envelopes, or velocity amounts. Four effects are also available at once, two inserts, and two sends, each offering 18 different effects to choose from. Drum Lab for Contact brings some truly top-notch drum sounds and MIDI grooves to the table, and the editing functions available are extensive and easy to use. The kits and patterns are grouped in several different genres, ranging from smooth to raw. The MIDI grooves can easily be dragged and dropped into your DAW. Within the genres, there are several different presets available. Let's listen to a few grooves and presets to give you an idea of what Drum Lab is capable of. In the matrix, you can click on the different elements in the kit, drums, percussion, room mics, reverb, etc., and then various editing options become available in the footer section below. On many of the drum sounds, like the snare drum, for example, you'll see the sound is composed of two elements, an acoustic drum sound and an electronic layer, and you can adjust the blend. Within those elements, several choices are available. Various adjustments are available on the layers, including the tuning, balance of the top and bottom mics, the amount of overhead mics, envelope settings, filters, and effects, including some excellent reverb choices. Complete offers some excellent orchestral and cinematic libraries for Contact, and that demo you just heard features three new ones in the series. Let's take a look at those, starting with Action Strikes. Designed for scoring action and suspense sequences, Action Strikes is divided into three different NKI files. Let's look at the Ensemble, which gives you multiple percussion instruments and patterns. In the right-hand box, you'll choose from 12 different ensembles, which are subdivided into low, mid, and high sections. For patterns, you'll load a rhythm set, which includes five patterns, and you choose which pattern plays by hitting the C1 through E1 keys. You can also manually load additional patterns into the next five slots as well. So for example, within the basic Accents A 16th feel set, if I hit C1, the patterns will all be variations of basic 16th feel whole note accents. 
Hitting D1 will give me similar patterns, but with quarter note accents. To trigger the patterns themselves, you'll move up an octave. Different keys across the octaves play different patterns and hits using the full ensemble or just certain parts. As you play back rhythms, you can use the mod and pitch wheels to add momentary expressions and accents, or use the sliders if you want to latch those. This button shows you the effects and mixer section. The hits file gives you a choice of 12 hit sets with individual hits across three octaves, each with a few critical parameters available for tweaking, but no patterns or loops. The instrument file is kind of a simplified version of the ensemble that takes up less memory. You can load single instruments, ensembles, or sections of ensembles, and you get three and a half octaves of triggering options for hits, rolls and flams, and loops. Kinetic Metal is another new library for contact featuring, yes, you guessed it, metallic sounds. A lot of good stuff, especially for scoring here. It's fairly simple. Each of the four presets in a patch is composed of a blend of four metallic sounds and four waves and the motion effect. There are also four preset effect settings to choose from, and they can be linked to the presets. Activating the motion button causes a patch to morph between presets and or effects, and the morphing LFO can continue as long as you hold a note or play legato or re-trigger with every note, and the speed and shape can be adjusted and locked to the master clock. The interface and effects are simple but effective. Our next new contact library, Rise and Hits, is just what it sounds like, a big collection of cinematic rise samples and hit samples. The key here isn't just that the sounds are great, but it's that the intuitive interface allows you to easily tailor the timing of the rise and the hit to seconds or beats, making it easy to use in a score or a song. Four different layers are available for both the rise and the hit section of the sound, and you can adjust the relative timing of each of the layers, as well as the volume and samples played back. Also available for contact is the Discovery Series Cuba Library. The title says it all, a bunch of great Cuban percussion and melodic instruments and patterns. The files are organized into percussion and melodic ensembles, or individual instruments, each with their accompanying patterns, except for the trumpet. The patterns can be edited, hits can be turned off and on, the key can be altered, and different chord progressions in the key are available as well. The Definitive Collection brings three new libraries to NI's already extensive arsenal of pianos. All three are meticulously sampled and sound terrific and offer a lot of tonal editing options as well. My colleague Gregory Johnson is going to play a few lines on each to give us an idea of the differences, starting with The Gentleman, which is a classic upright. Let's hear the grandeur, a classical concert grand piano. The Maverick gives you the unusual sound of a distinctive 1905 vintage grand piano.
Session Horns Pro is an extended version of Contact's horn section library designed primarily for pop and soul work. Both solo instruments and sections with up to six instruments are available. A smart chord function lets you play chords with one or two fingers, while the voicing assistant gives you different playing style options, including a smart voice split that splits your chords into the best brass voices, just like an arranger would. And the animator function turns played chords into brass phrases arranged into different genre styles, each with several riffs to choose from and with six variations in each. Articulations can also be changed at the touch of a key. Before we wrap it up, let's look at two new effects, starting with Molecular. Molecular is a multi-effect plugin that runs in the reactor shell. It's modular, you can sort of think of the four effect slots as up to 14 different kinds of effect pedals tied together with a sophisticated adjustable routing system that offers four macro controls over multiple parameters at once. There are also a lot of modulation options, four LFOs, four step sequencers, three envelope generators, and four logic units. The results range from dub style echo effects to sequenced melodic effects and a whole host of other experimental possibilities. The last plugin we're looking at today in Complete 10 Ultimate is the Supercharger GT, and it's a more advanced version of the original Supercharger. It's designed to emulate the sound of high-end tube compression, a tool engineers frequently employ to warm up sounds in a mix. Prime candidates being electric guitars and basses, drums, vocals, and mixed buses, where whole subgroups can be compressed to sit better in the mix. Quite a number of parameters are available here, saturation, character, modes for commonly used attack and release times, and more. Sidechain compression and three stereo link modes are available as well, and results can range from subtle warmth to overdriven crunchiness. So there's a somewhat brief overview of what's new in Complete 10 Ultimate. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.